Hey guys, this is Sharon here from 24/7 Techie, and in this video, we will be reviewing the Redmi Note 9 Pro. But before we get started, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our further videos and get the notification and be the notification squad. Now that you've done that, let's get started. So at 24/7 Techie, we always talk about camera performance first, and uh, we will be directly comparing it to the Realme 6 because both the phones are uh, 14,000 rupees. Both the phones are like the obviously the Redmi versus Realme so the camera performance will be compared side by side so first of all we'll get the specs out of the way the Redmi Note 9 Pro has a 48 megapixel Samsung ISOCELL GM2 sensor which is at f1.79 compared to Realme 6 which comes with a 64 megapixel Samsung ISOCELL GW1 sensor which is at f1.8 both the phones have ultra wide macro and depth sensor but we will not talk about that a lot we will only be talking about the primary sensor here so starting with the daylight images and the first image is the sidewalk and both the images look pretty same when it's zoomed out. So the moment we zoom in towards the car, we can see clear difference, pun intended. Realme 6 image is much clearer and the details in the image are well preserved compared to Redmi Note 9 Pro. The next image in the park, again the zoom out images look very similar but once we zoom in, things change a lot. We can see that Realme 6 has much more detail, the texture on the wall is higher, overall a much better image from Realme. In the next image, the sky in this building from the Redmi Note 9 Pro is completely overprocessed. and now when we zoom in towards the building, we can see that uh, the shadows have been lifted and the highlights have been dropped when you see it in the Redmi Note 9 Pro. And it actually brings out a little bit more detail compared to Realme 6 which has taken it to a normal approach like a realistic approach but redmi note 9 pro has a little bit more detail in this image so i'll give it to redmi note 9 pro for this one for the detail Coming to the low light images, the Redmi Note 9 Pro has a much clearer sky than the uh, Realme. In the next image, when we zoom in, the Realme is performing better. The Redmi one is actually looking like a painting that there is greenery. I don't know what is what, but there is greenery. But in the Realme one, you can point out which one is which. The Redmi has preserved a lot of detail in the board when you compare to Realme, which has overblown it completely. And in the last image, we see that zoomed out it's not a lot of difference the moment we zoom in and we see the sharpness on the gate it's night and day and uh, finally we talk about the ultra wide angle lens it's good it's usable it's social media shareable uh, so there are instances where realme wins there are instances when redmi wins it's a tie for the ultra wide angle images so to conclude the camera segment, I am really disappointed with the camera performance of the Redmi Note 9 Pro in the imaging point of view. The video point of view, it's good. The video features are good. The video sensor, the sensor isn't really performing that well. Processing isn't that good. It's a little bit reddish. It is oversaturated no matter what you do. But the Pro mode on the video mode is amazing on the Redmi Note 9 Pro and the Pro Max. So it is a good feature but overall the sensor isn't really that good it's not performing as good as we would have uh, liked because the redmi note 8 pro also had a 64 megapixel sensor so it actually looks like a little bit of a downgrade on the redmi note 9 pro compared to realme 6 it's obviously not able to win the uh, images from the realme 6 were much better in the daylight in low light, there were a couple of instances where the Redmi Note 9 Pro was a little bit better. Actually, this is the same sensor that uh, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max uses. So this is an expensive sensor. This is a good sensor. This is the sensor that Xiaomi kept for a higher expensive model and that we get in the Realme 6. So yeah, this, prefer, this sensor or this camera package is better than uh, what you get on the Redmi Note 9 Pro. Let's move on to the second disappointment of the Redmi Note 9 Pro and that is the screen. So the Redmi Note 9 Pro comes with a 6.67 inch 20 is to 9 Full HD plus IPS LCD display which is at 60 Hz. Protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5. Whereas the Realme 6 comes with a 6.5 inch Full HD plus IPS display which is at 90 Hz and is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 3. So I am not saying that the screen of the Redmi Note 9 Pro is bad. 
but it's bad when you compare it with Realme 6 at the same price point. 90Hz, 60Hz and once when you use a 90Hz phone, the 60Hz actually feels a little slower, 60Hz feels a little sluggish. So Redmi Note 9 Pro using 60Hz is making two things obvious. One that Redmi did a lot of cost cutting in this phone, there are a couple of more which we will talk about uh, later on in this video and second with not putting in 90Hz screen on this phone they are actually protecting Poco X2. This has Snapdragon 720G, this has Helio G90T, it's a neck to neck performance gap, I actually prefer this, let me explain. Let's start off with the PUBG gameplay, Redmi does not support HDR gameplay, Redmi does not have extreme option in the smooth graphics option and when it comes to gameplay, I played game on the HDR high on Realme 6 and HD high on Redmi Note 9 Pro because that's the maximum of both the phones. The HDR on the Realme 6 actually looks better. Overall performance was also uh, much better on the G90T because of the much better GPU inside. I'll give the gaming performance to Realme 6. When it comes to day to day performance, there is not a lot of difference between Snapdragon 720G versus the MediaTek Helio G90T. Actually G90T is a little bit better optimized because it's an older processor and it also feels a lot smoother on this phone because of the 90Hz screen. So 90Hz screen actually makes a lot of difference when you compare it and the day to day performance also feels snappier, a little quick. Everything is a little quick because it's rendering faster. It takes a little bit toll on the GPU. The GPU on the G90T is much better than uh, the Snapdragon 720G. So it is able to maintain, there's no heating issues. I am really impressed with the G90T on the Realme 6. I would actually suggest the G90T over the 720G. The only and only point that uh, 720G has is the custom ROM support because Snapdragon devices have better support compared to MediaTek devices. This is the only place where it is a little bit better compared to MediaTek but otherwise the day to day performance, the overall usage, the overall performance and overall gaming is better on the G90T. So talking about UI, Redmi Note 9 Pro and the Realme 6 both are running on Android 10. Overall both MIUI and Realme UI are good, have a lot of customizations, have a lot of features. MIUI 12 update for the Redmi Note 9 Pro will be coming in soon which actually makes it a much better competitor. Overall the UI of both the phones are good, it's your choice which one you want to go for, a Realme UI or MIUI, you will not go wrong with either one of them. Now coming to the batteries, the Redmi Note 9 Pro has a 5020mAh battery and the Realme 6 has 4300mAh battery so there is a lot of difference, more than 10% of difference when it comes to battery capacity and that shows because of 90 years, because of a more power hungry processor this one will sort of last you a day you will have to be a little bit careful when you are using it so that it lasts you a day so you will need a top up in the afternoon or evening whichever suits you but this one will easily last you a day and a half because of the higher refresh rate screen and because of a more power hungry processor this one will last you only a day at maximum but there is a twist here and that is the third disappointment that is the battery charging speeds so this is where xiaomi really pissed me and really disappointed me that they have disabled fast charging on this phone it can only charge at 18 watts i have a 27 watt fast charger xiaomi's 27 watt fast charger it will not support that i have a 33 watt fast charger from xiaomi that will not also be supported so none of the chargers will be supported only 18 watt charging will be supported whereas the 30 watt charger for the realme 6 is in box you do not even need to buy it separately but for the redmi note 9 pro you cannot do anything if you can buy it separately it can only support 18 watt xiaomi has restricted it xiaomi has actually again protected the redmi note 9 pro max for the 33 watt charging so that you do not have uh, the comparison of uh, 27 and 33 or anything else so 33 watt is uh, only the fast charging you can get and that is only for the redmi note 9 pro max which is very expensive We'll talk about that when the embargo lifts and uh, the POCO X2 D27 watt charging. So they are sort of protecting these phones by restricting fast charging on this phone. This is the final nail in the coffin for me 
for uh, comparing it to the Realme 6 which has everything when you compare it to Redmi Note 9 Pro and cost cutting a lot of cost cutting on the Redmi Note 9 Pro so let's conclude this and talk about why you should buy any of these phones when you talk about Realme 6 it has a better screen better gaming performance better cameras and better charging speed so that's a lot of better and when we talk about Redmi Note 9 Pro what better you get you get better ROM support I had to think about that so you get better ROM support because of Snapdragon processors and a bigger battery that's the only positive you get for the Redmi Note 9 Pro disappointed so yeah guys this was our review of the Redmi Note 9 Pro and a comparison with the Realme 6 as well and to conclude I will go with the Realme 6 I really like it no matter what other says let the hate come in in the comments which it will obviously but Realme has actually taken Redmi to the trenches and beaten the shit out of it Realme has outperformed uh, Redmi in almost every aspect in this price comparison and this phone comparison so I will suggest Realme 6 so please don't buy the Redmi Note 9 Pro the heading of the video so yeah guys thank you for watching and uh, don't uh, forget to like this video if you haven't already and comment below let the hate come in let's talk about it what uh, I did wrong and what I missed out and what I did let's talk about it let's have a boxing match let's uh, let me protect my argument and maybe if uh, your argument wins i will make a video on that thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and like if you haven't already because i do think it was an entertaining video and i hope to see you in my next one till then see ya thank you very much